Hey guys, we are here today to tell you on how you can exactly port this on you 40 of your camera of native Jellybean 4.2 OS right on your Android smartphone. So before we proceed on a detailed procedure on how exactly you can port this, there are some few guidelines which you need to follow, which we'll be letting you know in the due course of this video tutorial. So first up, you need to download the zip package of whose link is mentioned just below this video in your computer. And then, connect your device to the computer with the help of original USB cable which you have got at the time of purchase. And then place the zip package in your device. Once you have placed the zip package, disconnect the phone from the computer. And then, all you need to do is enter your device in the recovery mode. But hey, just wait. You need to ensure that your device is rooted, we need to check the same from the root checker application from the Google Play Store. So assuming that your device is rooted and B, you have placed the zip package in your device, you are now ready to go. So now, enter your device in the recovery mode and then select the option of install zip from SD card and choose the zip package of Photosphere camera zip which you have placed in your device. Once you have placed it, just flash the same, allow it to complete the flashing process, which will take around a minute or two. Once it's done, select the option of go back and then select reboot system now for rebooting the device. Once the device is rebooted up, you can see that the camera application, which is by default, are been changed. This is a camera which you might have never seen it before. This is one of the best cameras ever built by Google. So as you can see that, this is an all new camera app. If you are long pressing on any portion of the screen, you will get 5 different options. 3 at the bottom, 2 at the top. The top left portion, top left option which actually flip the camera from back to front and then the rockmost right you have got three flash options where you can choose any of those depending upon your selection depending upon your choice and then bottom most right will help you in choosing the modes there are five different modes with which you can select the image image modes and all and then at the bottom straight you have got the settings option then you can choose the scene mode, store location and the picture size. And then bottom most left portion will allow you to select the sensitivity of the image that is positive or negative depending upon the choice. Ideally it should be on zero. Now you are done with the long press options. Now let's come on to the image options. I have got video mode camera mode, there's a video mode, there's a camera mode and then there's a panorama mode and there's a smart panorama mode let's check out this first up you need to align to start start You can actually level or align the image as per your choice. And also, there's a panorama mode. With which you can snap the photos of your choice. Apart from that, this option will again pop up the same options which we generally get on the long pressing of the device. And last but not the least, to click the photo, all you need to do is just tap on this option. And to check for the last photo, all you need to do is just swipe towards the right, towards the left. So that's it. This is an image. It's pretty much clear. Though it's not the effect of the new camera app. But then too, this camera app is just an amazing app. So that's it from us. Stay tuned to advise us new YouTube channel for more updates.